listen, Calvin, you mentioned the American system. You said it doesn't work, so let's find out how it does work in America. And I'm going to speak to an American writer, uh, Yaron Brook. Uh, Yaron, thank you very much for joining me. Calvin said the system doesn't work in America. So how exactly does it work? Well, there's a lot of truth to what Calvin says. The, the problem with the American system is there's too much government involvement in it. Uh, you don't want to mimic the American system. What you want is true privatization. I, I disagree with your panelists in a sense that um, the NHS is a good idea, but it's not practiced well. No, it's a bad idea. Mm. It's a bad idea to central plan any industry. Uh, do we want a, the government manufacturing our food? Can you imagine what a disaster that would be? Well, when the government starts, in a sense, manufacturing our health care, it's a disaster. You get that in the H NHS. You get it, I think, to a smaller degree in the United States. Well, the American system, though, does come under a lot of criticism, actually. Um, former President Obama, he implemented a system like the NHS, but for only the poorest people. Um, and there, well, was he, quite a lot of, there was quite a lot of backlash against it, even from the poorest people. Has that made a difference? Or is it still running now? Have they scrapped it? What's gone on with that? No, he still he he made it worse. Obamacare made things worse, not better. Mm. Uh, it made it much more expensive for most of us to get our health care. The American system. Look, if if you have insurance in the United States, um, and insurance is too expensive because of government regulations and government controls and government mandates, but if you have insurance in the United States, then you are getting the best health care in the United mm. in the world. I mean, the fact is that when a European, if a, if a if a wealthy European gets sick, really sick. They don't go to France, they don't go to Switzerland, they don't go to Sweden. They fly to the Cleveland Clinic or the Mayo Clinic. They fly to the United States to get treatment because the fact is that we get amazing treatment here. Now, it's true that a certain percentage of Americans don't have health insurance, and that is a real problem. But the problem there is that regulations and controls and government intervention drive up the cost of insurance primarily for poor people, and that can be solved if there's a political will to solve it. But that requires more freedom, less government intervention, less regulation, not the other way around. Interesting stuff. So do you think that the people in America are envious of our NHS? There was a time when it was the envy of the world. No, I don't think anybody's envious of the NHS anywhere in the world. It's, it's, I mean, I know it's, it's kind of religion in the UK to believe in the NHS. You can't criticize it. But the fact is you have one of the worst healthcare systems in the developed world. Many of your European uh, neighbors do much better than you do. And the fact is, again, that I think when you have insurance, if you have insurance in the United States, you get far better treatment. So, And then, oh, you talk about waiting lists and waiting lines. I want to get an MRI. I can get an MRI tomorrow paid for by insurance. If I want to go see a doctor, I can see him almost immediately. If there's an emergency, uh, everything is available to me if I have insurance. So uh, the American health system is far superior but it's not ideal. We could make mm. it a lot better. And if you were restructuring your system, if you were going to redo the NHS, uh, you could do a lot better than the American system. But the principle is the more you privatize, the better. So, and, and the ideal is privatize everything. Yeah, Yaron Brooks, thank you very much. I like the sound of that. Right, from podcaster, Yaron seems to think privatize everything. Thank you for listening or watching the Yaron Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yaronbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Yaron Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.